when we come to the 10th nakshatra of magha which falls in the sign of leo we are speaking of a start of a new cycle right all the way up till jeshtha nakshatra in scorpio okay so magha nakshatra ruled by the power of sun all about leadership all about doing the right kind of thing righteousness in leadership being themes of magha so what drives the pulse what is the heart of magha nakshatra let's begin to examine hopefully by the end of this video you will get a deeper meaning of magha nakshatra if it's playing out in your chart okay let's roll the intro So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Magha Nakshatra, the core of Magha Nakshatra. Let's start from the top. The temperament being Rakshasa, meaning they are all interested in very tamasic things. They need to ground. Magha Nakshatra has come here to ground stuff in the physical reality. That's what Rakshasa Gana means. The Varna is Shudra, meaning the propensity or the Varna is about doing work, physical work in the physical world. Magha Nakshatra is not so much keen on going into higher transcendence of wisdom, of light, of being understanding on a wise level or a spiritual level. It is more about doing the actual work because the propensity is Shudra. Always remember this about the propensities of nakshatras if you're aligned with the propensity of nakshatra well it is more useful for you you can't go against the current don't swim against the tide that's the heart of all these nakshatras that i'm bringing okay the type of this nakshatra now we are getting into the core is active and the drive is srishti which means it is a creator nakshatra so highly active and highly creative, you might say. The traditional fifth house, like ruled by Leo, ruled by Sun. <clears throat> so you might say Magha Nakshatra represents the power of Sun as the core, as the beginning of creator energy. Okay, the creator inside us as human beings. But Magha Nakshatra is Lord, is the Sun, it's Leo. So it is Kshatriya means it is a warrior like it is about power politics leadership okay as i mentioned there because of this we have to first check that bottom most guy over there life lesson what is the life lesson of magha nakshatra it is alignment with righteousness to be and command true power be careful about the wording there let me go through that again. Alignment with righteousness to be. First, be the righteous person. Then you command a true power, not demand a true power. There's a huge difference for all those you who are Magha Nakshatra dominant in their charts. There's a huge try, drive or misconception that you have to demand power. Power is not a demand, it's a command. And that command for Magha Nakshatra comes about if you are aligned with righteousness. For Magha Nakshatra, the theme seems to be dominantly about alignment with righteousness. Probably this is why ancients in India used to have the Brahmins guiding the king. Because the king is about rulership. The king is about Magha. The king is about the sun. Somebody has to rule the kingdom. Fine. That function is needed. Fine. He does all the management of all the stuff. Management and leadership. Think in modern context also. <clears throat> so of course you do need leaders. But they have to be aligned with righteousness. As you can see. Magha Nakshatra doesn't have anything about righteousness. In the top list. It's a Rakshasagana. It is Shudra. It's all about working. It's very highly active like a Kshatriya is supposed to be warrior-like and it's about creation but there is nothing of Brahmana energy there 
there is nothing seeking venus or jupiter kind of wisdom there you see that so alignment with righteousness to be and to command true power becomes the drive of mahanakshatra right this is what you got to feel and understand folks so being ruled by lord sun and being in kshatriya being in the sign of leo the two planets that do very well in magha are sun of course and mars as well because it's a kshatriya planet planets have also got kshatriya shudra all that has listed there when we come to the d10 archetypes okay in the d10 chart in your career d10 chart where will it do well obviously it is the first three angles right the first angle is 0 to 3 degrees the second being 3 to 6 degrees the third being 6 to 9 degrees the f- first one is the highest obviously because indra is the king of gods so leadership qualities power authority now if you stick that in magha and if you stick planets like mars and sun in magha in those degrees in the d10 chart right what do you get you get a powerhouse of one who is driven towards leadership they have qualities of leadership especially if sun is there in the angle in your d10 chart <clears throat> another one would be second angle three to six degrees this is me angle which has got a strong work ethic ability to overcome challenges of course a kshatriya needs that determination inspirational passionate and creative it is a creative nakshatra after all you can create look at the kind of talents and abilities that maka has gives you to leadership and authority i'm just going quickly through the list over there Excellent careers that require to take charge in leading others, very Leo-like. Government and administration, Sun, Saturn, both are kind of government-related stuff. May excel in public service, civil services or government-related careers. Performing arts and entertainment like actors, musicians, philanthropy and charitable work. The kings in the ancient times used to be highly philanthropical. They understood that the only way they can be righteous, again, alignment with righteousness, is to give away their wealth, not to keep it. Nobody takes wealth to the other side. When anyone dies, they don't take their money or their billions of dollars to the other side, right? This wisdom needs to be understood much in the modern world. Education and teaching, they can also be good teachers. But for teaching, you need the kind of Brahmana planets like Jupiter and Venus in it. Different kinds of teaching, obviously. Jupiter's style is different, Venus is different. And that would be in the last angles. Ability to find deeper purpose and meanings like the Ishana angle. Okay. <clears throat> corporate management and business. They may excel in corporate management careers. Again, if you see the trend there, everything is driven towards managing. Everything is driven towards leadership. However, the trick here for this leadership of Magha is they have to align with that righteousness. They can't go around demanding power. They have to be righteous. Therefore, they will command power. Everybody will respect them automatically. Everybody respects a good righteous king automatically. There are stories in every culture about this, right? Different kings who came and went, who used to command power of their people by being righteous. They were being somebody. This is the life lesson of Mahanakshatra. If you can pull this off, Mahanakshatra will shine for you. It doesn't matter where you are, what you are doing, right? So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the take on Maghanakshatra in Leo. Next, we will be dealing with Purva Falguni. Purva and Uttara being similar, but Purva Falguni being the second half of Leo. Leo has got two dominant nakshatras. Magha is the first. It's the beginning of righteousness, you might say, Magha. And it's got the power of ancestors with it. Your ancestors, if they have got some kings and queens in the background, 
hundreds or thousands of years ago, you will have that Magha playing in your chart. You will know. You will know even as a soul, it might not be directly your family lineage. If you come from a lineage of kings, Magha will play in your chart. Right? So in the next one, we should be dealing with Purva Falguni, the 11th nakshatra. Purva Falguni is about relationships, but let's do that next. Meantime, take care, be safe.